Hello and welcome back to Acting One. What we're going to do this week is go over how the given circumstances can help you transform any room you're performing in into the world of your play. So let's get started. Now, in theater, everything that we are involved with is fake, right? That's not a real house behind you. These aren't your real clothes. Those aren't your words. But your commitment to the action and your imagination is what makes it real. And that is no more true with anything than it is with the given circumstances. See, the given circumstances are what you create and your audience sees based on how you commit to them. Now, the assignment this week is super easy. What you're gonna do is cross from one end of the room to the other. That's it. However, you're gonna create an environment and every time that you are performing, in general, I want you to think of telling a story. Your story should always have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Now, it's not as simple as walking from one end of the room to the other because you're going to have to create the given circumstances. So what you're going to have to do is pick a surface to walk on. That could be ice, that could be lava, it could be a dusty cave, it could be thick mud, it could be anything you want. It can be the moon. But make sure it's very clear and you're going to have to set up how you walk on that surface. You're also going to have to set up the temperature. So what temperature is it in the place that you've chosen? And you have to set up the temperature and walk at the same time and make sure that it's clear to your audience. And finally, you have to create a source of light. Now, sometimes the source of light could be the sun in front of you, right? And if it is, then you would, every time you looked at it, it would hurt your eyes. Or maybe you walk into a dark room and what you need is a match. Maybe a match is all you have. Or maybe it's a lighter or a flashlight or it could be anything. But you have to decide whatever that is. Now once you have it down, you're going to need to practice crossing from one end of the room to the other and all three of those have to be clear. And here's the other thing. You are not allowed to talk. You're not allowed to make any sounds. So you have to show us all of your given circumstances with just your movement and body. But that's a good thing. See, because most communication that humans make is nonverbal. So the way you communicate those things to your audience is not you changing the lines at all. And you're going to start to understand just how powerful you are as an actor because you control the environment in which these words are spoken. You give the words context based on the environment that you're in. And a play, when a playwright gives you a play, it's just words on a page, right? And the setting description and all of those things, those are suggestions for the director and the set designer. But you, yourself, as the actor, have to commit. And most of the time, you're not going to see what the set looks like until you're up in performance. So you have to create a very vivid world and really work on it. Because here's the secret. If you see it, we'll see it, even if it's not there. A truly good actor will make you forget that you're even watching a play, even if there's nothing around because you're so sucked into what they are doing. So we're going to go over that assignment real quick again. What you're going to do is cross from one end of the room to the other. You're going to set up the source, the, the, the surface that you're walking on, the source of light and the temperature, and you're not allowed to talk. Now, you didn't make sure that that's very, very, very clear and tell us a story with a beginning, middle and end. If it's a blizzard and there is no light source, well, then maybe you start with a door that you open. And now I'm in a blizzard, I'm going to walk on snow, it's cold, and I have a lantern. So I've set up all of those things so that my audience can follow along this journey with me. So what you're going to do is you're going to record those things and record yourself a couple times and pick your best one. Then you're going to upload that recording so that we can all see it. I'm going to look at it and I'm going to tell you all of the things that you're doing really, really well. 
And then I'm going to see if there's something that we can improve on to make your storytelling and make your acting just a little bit better. And then you're going to get another chance to upload again. All right, everyone. I cannot wait to see your videos. And I'll see you soon.